Hi guys, this is Life Issue and this is Blessing. Thank you so much for always coming to my channel to listen to me and to watch the latest video. So I'm a mom and I have a child, a son, and I live in London. And if there's one person that have always inspired me, that have always motivated me, that his story has always encouraged me, is Anthony Joshua. Because he represents my son. In the sense that his parents were all Nigerian migrants that came to you live in the UK. But this guy has shown us that if you train your child, if you train your child, no matter whatever they face in the street there, they will always remember home. So I've always followed him since I got to know about him. I thought I've always been encouraged and have always admired everything he is and what he stands for so on saturday i will be watching his match now i'm so excited i'm so happy that this match no matter how many times they call him british he's not he, he represents nigerian british okay he's a british nigerian it's funny that when people are doing very well they call them british but when they are not doing what they call them nigerian born British. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. That's not even important. So Anthony Joshua has landed in Saudi Arabia ahead of his rematch with Andy Rulers Jr. All right. It's going to be going down on Saturday. Please, you need to, you need to watch this rematch. Okay. It is the talk of the town is what is happening now. And everybody is looking forward to this i mean anthony joshua is so handsome i mean not just is he handsome he is very humble he's one of those people that when i see him on telly when i see him and his charity work i am so so blessed that there's someone who's representing our black community in such a way now i have tried to google his history and I've also tried to find out anything about him that I can talk to my son about. You know, the, you, our children, the children that live in London and live in the UK need to see this kind of role model. There's so many black boys image that is negative. OK, when you're walking on the street, what you see are uh, people not behaving the right way, having boys sagging their trousers, you know, I live in Croydon and some of the, when we go to the sound center, the things that we see is, is appalling. But when we see people like Anthony Joshua, who actually are from Nigeria, who represent us in such a way that we are migrant like his parents. And he was born here and he had, you know, one or two fracas with the police. He was jailed one time, but he came out of all this and he became somebody. And he turned his anger of the society into something he's making money. And I'm so happy that he did that because it means that we can control our demons and we can be proactive in handling the society. And this guy is so handsome. Okay. He is very handsome. Many girls are asking who is his girlfriend. He's been linked to a lot of girls. Um, he has a baby mama. Um, someone that he dated when they were little and he has a ch child from this person i don't know if he's dating um dj cooper we don't know but we've seen them they've gone to spain together he bought something for her the other moment i hope he is he needs to go back to his roots okay he shouldn't date and marry all these you know um i don't want to say it. them not be racist but he needs to go back to his room and pick a wife uh, go back to your roots and pick a wife i mean yeah anyway anthony joshua if you don't know about him he's a nigerian british heavyweight boxer and he was born in watford and he won gold in the 2012 olympic that was when i got to know him was when i got to hear about him and to be frank with you he has had his good days and bad days with the cops but he came out of it victorious and he's well known and he's representing us. Now, I heard that Bruce, the senator Bruce has been calling on the president, Buhari, 
Letters has been calling on the, our president to recognize him and to talk about him and that our president have refused to do that. I don't know why. This guy is a Nigerian. This guy is dead Nigerian. This guy had identified himself with Nigeria. So I think, not, if nothing else, Buhari should at least talk about him or promote him or say something or even wish him well in his match. He is known as a Nigerian boxer. He's, he has made a lot of video talk about his Nigerian origin. He's not ashamed of it. He's proud Nigerian. So why won't we talk? It's not his fault that he was born in Britain. His parents are the ones that migrated. So, hey, a little bit of, you know, encouragement from his people. But anyway, whether this guy win or lose on Saturday's match, story has it that he is going to be earning 85 million just because he appeared though for the rematch just that that he came for that rematch that he's in saudi arabia now and that he's gonna go into that into that you know ring he is going to be earning 85 million hey oh see me welcome become poor teacher why did i not just go and start be fighting in the street and start doing boxing People are making money. Like, people are making money. 85 million. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, to, now my, my son must become a boxer. He, he has to be fighting people on the streets. Anyway, um, on a very serious note, um, I wish him well. I wish he wins. And I'll be, you know, I'll be jeering him. I'll be watching. And I'll be, you know, praying for him that he wins. He deserves it. He's very humble. I know the other team will say their own deserves it, but hey, Anthony Joshua is our boy. Now, every Nigerian, everybody out there that is linked to Nigeria should be, you know, talking about him and Jeremy up. And please watch the match. I'll be watching it and I'll be posting things from the match as it's happening on my Facebook. All right, so I just want to talk about this. Just my own African community talk. And I just want to say that at the end of the day, it's not that hopeless for us in the UK. Every day we hear about deaths, people being stabbed, people being killed. I mean, the media paints us so bad. We are the black community or the black boys are painted to be drug addicts. I know we, we get that stereotype, but this guy is representing us and we need to talk about him and we need to promote him. All right. Thank you so much for listening. I just want to talk about Anthony Joshua. I am praying for him and I'm seriously, you know, talking about him. And I hope that he wins. I mean, this guy, he sang the national anthem the other day. And he kept talking about Fufu and Gary. Who does that? I mean, who does that? This guy has been properly brought up, properly brought up by his parents. And I'm very, very proud of him. And I hope he wins. I hope he wins. Oh, well, thank you so much. Please, this is my own, or uh, what would I say, contribution to his match. And I hope he wins. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.